Hi there folks, welcome back to my channel and for this video I'm a bit of a, an old stomping ground for me. I've actually come down to Kelburn Castle and Country Centre which is just between the town of Largs and the village of Fairley. And it's a kind of privately owned estate, the, the Boyle family who are the Earls of Glasgow still live here, they still live in the castle. Uh, which I will kind of be taking some videos of the outside of it uh, again as it's a private home uh, it's kind of limited access and won't be able to do any video footage inside but you will be able to get, the, get to see the outside of the castle uh, get to see much of the grounds and there's a lot of good walking here as well because uh, you, you can actually walk essentially the full length of the Kelburn Glen and I think it's about two miles from the bottom to the top. So it's a, a, a good four mile round circuit. So if you like your walking, if you like being out in the countryside, it's a good place to come. So uh, I'm going to go out, uh, go for a wander, and hopefully you all enjoy the video. And if you do, if you enjoy my channel, please click on, it, on that subscriber button. Please click on that notification bell leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. So I'm just going to go go out, get outside and go for a wander. That's the Isle of Cumbria down there, that's where Millport is. So that's the, the Firth of Clyde. And they also have a horse centre here as well. I think the estate itself is about 3,000 acres. Goes right up into the moors above Largs. I think the original castle, there was remains of, a, uh, of it down that direction. So I think it's, it's supposed to be a, a Mott and Bailey. There's just uh, some slight ditches in the ground. And they do hold events here as well. And they've had like, kind of music events. And they also have, uh, you can have weddings and corporate events here as well. some information boards. Okay. So that's the castle there. I've just come from the car park, which down there. The secret forest, which is kind of is quite popular with kids, it's quite a good place for them to go and explore. Yeah, 
that's uh, one of the claims of fame of Kelburn and Kelburn Castle is that the castle itself is supposed to be the oldest castle in Scotland that's uh, still inhabited by the same family. Apparently I've been here since 1943. And that's some of the interiors. So we're going to head in this way. So they do have a cafe here as well, so you can get fed. This is the old kind of farm, which is now kind of used as the centre of the visitor centre. And a lot of the walks are up this way. Some very noisy geese. Chicken's just behind them. <laughs> and the castle is just in this direction. So you've got a bit of history. So this is uh, me at the, the viewpoint. That's quite a, quite a popular wee stopping point for people when they come in to see the castle. So that there is a lot of history here. At Kelburn Castle. And that's the castle there itself. As yeah, so I think it was about 10 years ago they started the graffiti project. And essentially it was to, to raise funds for, kind of, or to kind of raise interest to, for the estate. Because again, it's expensive to run these places. And it has kind of caused a lot of discussion and kind of talk, which kind of does get people interested. And and there's also the waterfront pool. So this is the start of the waterfall pool path. And Kelburn Castle and Country Centre is actually named after the Kelburn, which I think you can hear. And Kelburn actually translates as the mountain stream. And then as a wee bridge here that takes you over to the other side of the gorge. But 
Because the kale, the kale burn down there. So that takes you back down that way, plus on the other side. So there's the, the Kilburn waterfall and the waterfall pool. I'm going to try and get me a bit closer. There's a wee cave up there, which I've always found quite intriguing. So this bit of the estate's always made me think of uh, it almost being some bit of a fairy tale or a fantasy novel. Yeah, so just through those trees, which are giant redwoods, you can just see part of the Isle of Arran. I think there is a local joke that if you can see Arran, it's raining. If you can't see Arran, it's going to rain. Yeah, a lot of the walks actually through the Kelburn Glen are fairly steep in points, so I would suggest having some decent footwear on. Because, yeah, it may look, the bowie paths may look fairly flat in the videos, but they're a lot steeper than they appear. And, but it's good if you want to go out, go out for a walk and get some good exercise. It definitely gives you a good uh, cardiovascular exercise. And, well, that's just saying, when I used to come here a lot more regularly, I was a lot fitter. And it's probably because I was coming here and walking up along uh, these paths and going up and down the glen. Because again, good for your legs. So, I'm going to try and, see, try and get to the next bridge, cut across, and come back down past the castle. Yeah, that up there is uh, just referred to as the monument. It was actually built in commemoration for one of the previous Earls of Glasgow. That is very much in the neoclassical style. Yeah, so I'm over on our side of the river. And... Just at the castle.
to the old front door that they're talking about <coughs> is that bit of uh, bare uh, stonework where the window is and the front door that they use now is round on the other side uh, I'll, try, I'll try and kind of get round the other side and let you get a different view of the castle So this is the ice house, I'll show you in a second. And essentially this is what they used before they had refrigeration. I think I kind of showed one when I was in at Killeen last year. So this is the one that's at Kelburn. And that's the inside of it there. And for anyone who is into their trees, this tree here is known as the Weeping Larch. It seems to be a bit of a, a genetic anomaly. It's the fact that its branches are coming down and touching the ground. I think in some cases they're actually uh, kind of grown back up. So it kind of creates this kind of very eerie kind of location within the, the estate. Well, that's me just finished my little adventure and explore of Kilburn Castle and Country Centre. And it is one of those places that always has a soft spot in my heart. Uh, it's always because I'm out that I love coming and visiting, just coming to and having a good walk and being outside. Uh, there's definitely plenty of uh, paths and tracks that you can go and explore. And some of the views that you get in the estate are amazing. And the nearest train station to Kelburn will be down in Largs, which I think is about two miles, two and a half miles away. Uh, but one thing you do have to remember if you are coming to Kelburn is that there are some parts of the estate that are still private. And uh, especially with the family still living in the castle and yeah, they, they live in the estate. So that, that does have to to be kept in mind that there will be certain parts that will be off limits but that still leaves a, a large part of the central part of the estate uh, open to, to be explored to be visited and enjoyed and yeah so uh, I do hope that you all enjoyed this video and you all enjoyed what you saw and I'll see you all in the next one bye bye